how to create a Pinterest board. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths, and I'm gonna show you how you can create a Pinterest board using Canva, which is free software, to help you build and grow your online presence on Pinterest. Pinterest has enabled me to go to about 1.5 million views every single month. I'm gonna show you one of the key fundamentals of doing this, which is boards. If you like this video, I would love you to subscribe. I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business. kind of they look messier and they're just underneath so they're kind of hidden out of the way so but that way it means that you can um, still have all of those other boards but you're that aren't necessarily your boards but you're just connected to and you pin into but actually your own particular boards are very focused and streamlined and on brand so let's have a look at some other people and what they're doing as well so up here, this is Rachel Nom, and so she's like she focuses on Pinterest, and it's got blog posts. So again, she's kind of got her boards, um, and they stand out pretty well. Um, then over here, um, this is um, she's called the Social Media Connector, um, my Super Connector, sorry, and um, so she does about LinkedIn. And so her branding, you know, slightly different coloring, but it does cover off all of those areas, you know, so sort of social media and particular topics. Um, so I would actually be doing more stuff on LinkedIn because she's a LinkedIn specialist, but it's that kind of, you know, focusing in on those areas. And so when you've got a board that is more distinctive and sets you apart with your branding, it really helps you to stand out. Okay, so how do you do this? So if we go back to, um, you know, looking at 
your um, your profile if we look here um, let's have a look so you want to make sure that in your um, with your branding it's very distinctive so mine is kind of of my brand coloring so it's pinks and it's reds um, so I am very careful to make sure that um, my pins sort of are reflective of this um, so we'll go to Canva where I make my pins so we go down here now I actually have them in Instagram images and these are my ones so I click here and edit so it's basically an Instagram kind of style image and I just have so it's the same size as an Instagram image um, and I just have simple text that stands out it's white with with a red frame so with these boards as you can see mine so it's just a red frame text in the middle and my logo so it's very simple um, and we'll do something like that so so for your boards you want it to be something that's very simple and helps you to stand out so it might be that you wanted to go for something like this and then you could choose your brand color here so you change this color so let's say I went with pink and then you could change these images in the middle um, and you could change so that the text is kind of the title and your name going around it or something or different things about you certain brand values um, I would say just going as simple as possible this is another one um, again that you could then change the color there so let's say we went with this pink um, and then you can change the text to match or go with the red and then we just say let's say this board's about LinkedIn LinkedIn tips and then in this example I would actually ungroup this oh I don't want to get rid of it all I just get rid of this and it might be we then made this bigger and either you want the flower or you don't want the flower depending on your brand and there you go and you might say that text isn't quite the right font So you change it to something else let's have a look let's go for something um, let's try Alaska so something bold that stands out so people are going to be able to see it you can make it even a little bit bigger So essentially you just want to make sure that it really stands out. Um, so it doesn't matter what, let's just do a new page so you can kind of try another design. Even if you did something like this one and you know, that's, that's, it's got pretty flowers and it's quite stylish but you could then have the name of each board here and you just had all of that design. So it's just, so it's really simple. It's like, you know, it could be, like this sort of style, like an Instagram um, image. But, but then once you've got it, so let's just say we download this one here. So download this. And so we want to PNG. I'll just say page one. So you've got your image. And then what you do is you then go back to Pinterest and you're on a board you upload the pin okay so we're on our board 
and you would add an image Okay, you'd add your title, so whatever the title of the board is. So we've decided the title, LinkedIn. Tell people what the board is about. So make sure that you kind of give a good description and also make sure that you add in a few um, keywords in there. So include your hashtags for like LinkedIn and certain keywords. Once you've saved your pin, you then, um, so let's just put this in. Um, So, so add in let's say so we've got that I would probably add a bit more to get as many keywords as possible about LinkedIn um, here's so it's here's some tips to So then we say which board we want to publish it to. So let's just say we're going to publish it to Okay, so that's into a particular board. So see it now. Okay, so here we go. So we've got everything that we want. So if we go into our boards, so we'll just be here. And let's say we wanted to swap out this board. So we've clicked on it. And you can change the cover. So you click on change and then you could choose like this image. So you would click to choose this image or you can scroll through. So you can go through until you find your image, but obviously it came up straight away because that was the last image you saved in there. So you click on it and you press save changes. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to change to this one. So, and then literally once you've done that, you press save and that's your board. And that's how you can change your boards. When you're in your board, so again, we'll go to this edit section. You want to make sure that your, you have a good name of your board. The description is, um, is like describes what the board is all about, has lots of keywords, the category is right. So everything is in, in alignment. And when you're choosing what type of boards you want to do, when you do a search, if we did like baking, let's choose baking. So rather than just like baking cakes, you went along and you went more niche. So then you could do like gluten free as a board or baking for beginners or baking for Halloween and make a seasonal board. Um, brownies as a board. Um, Valentine's as another seasonal board. Um, and then, you know, so it gets more niche. So um, then, you know, decorating for baking or um you know different kind of ideas with baking as well so that it becomes more niche and more specific so for your audience it will be easier for them to be attracted to you because if it's a big topic everyone's searching but if it's a more niche topic not everyone is searching for like gluten-free or not everyone is searching for like baking utensils or um whatever it may be or kitchen ideas or you know so think niche when you're when you're coming up with your boards 
If you found this video useful, I would love you to subscribe. I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye.